Hey guys, I want to give you an update. Supreme Court decision. The Connecticut firefighters are vindicated by Supreme Court ruling. Now get this. The Connecticut firefighter at the center of a high stakes court battle said he now feels vindicated by the Supreme Court ruling Monday that he and his mostly white colleagues were unfairly denied promotions because of their skin color. Meanwhile, the ruling quickly became a political football in Washington because Supreme Court nominee Sonia Sotomayor, who, by the way, is totally uh, a racist, by the way. Um, why is she a racist? Well, here's why. Her opinion reversed a decision she had endorsed in the lower court. The White House pushed back on the criticism Monday afternoon, saying the opinion should not prove an obstacle. Well, what opinion? This uh, racist Supreme Court nominee, Sotomayor, um, says that race should play a factor in giving people jobs. Well, the Supreme Court just said that, no, that's wrong. They slapped her down, basically, and said that's racist. Um, and so we're going to talk about how liberalism leads to racism. It totally does. And I'm going to give you some examples. Putting it in gear. Have you ever noticed that liberals will always go ahead and divide you and I, the American people? They divide them into classes based on income, they div divide them into sexual orientation, and um, I say, let's go right. They divide them into racial categories and minorities, pitting whites against blacks, Hispanics, and everyone against each other. And I, for one, this is one thing that does really tick me off. I am so sick of these race... Uh, dividing crybabies that want to divide me and you, you and I, against each other for votes and for power. That is evil in its purest form. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of how liberals use race to get people divided against each other and to get votes and to stay in power. Um, John Roberts. I'm just looking, there's a leaf down here. John Roberts, geez, you see that? That person is going way over the speed limit here. John Roberts was uh, going to be nominated to the Supreme Court and liberal, the liberal idiot. That's the nicest Christian way I'm going to say it. The liberal idiot, Barbara Boxer, uh, started questioning John Roberts and here's what she did oh that's another thing they divide she just gave me another idea they divide on big business versus the little guy as if the little guy is always right and big business is always evil I'm so sick of it and if you're watching this and you're an intelligent decent God-fearing human being I know you're sick of this racial division and all this stuff also well she asked John Roberts what would you do in a court case if you had the little guy versus the big guy who would you rule for and John Roberts being a genius conservative by the way yes John Roberts not a liberal John Roberts said listen to the brilliant answer of this conservative judge he said look if the little guy's wrong, I'm going to rule in favor of the big guy. If the big guy's wrong, I'm going to rule in favor of the little guy. Notice how John Roberts focused on what is right and what is wrong and what is just. Not on the little guy, big guy, black, white, Hispanic. You know, I am so sick of it. it I'm going to uh, say something right now. If someone's a racist and they're racist against whites, blacks, whatever the color is, whatever they're racist against, I don't really care to be their friend. Now, I know there's folks on YouTube and they're like, well, we should be friends with everybody. Well, me personally, 
I don't really care to be their friend. I what what benefit can being a friend of a racist do do in my life? There's no benefit to it. That's why I'm not really friends with a lot of liberals. Because a lot of them use this... I am friends with some. I won't say their names. <laughs> but you guys know who you are. Uh, but a lot of them use this racial dividing thing. And I get emails all the time. Hey, Shock, are you Hispanic? And I'm going to tell you what I answer them. Or they'll say, hey, Shock, are you black? And I'm going to tell you what I answer them. Or Shock... Uh, are you uh, Korean? Because I or are you Japanese? I know you drive a Japanese bike, and and then they'll also ask me. Sometimes they, they think I'm German. Shock, are you German? And, and you know what I say every time? I go, I'm no race whatsoever. I'm an American. That's how I answer them. Whenever I get those stupid, idiotic government survey cards where it says write down your race, I put Christian American. That's what I put. So it's just, you know, it's so stupid uh, how liberals want to go ahead and promote this class warfare. The rich against the poor, you know, white people against minorities. I mean, it's so stupid. Um, I hope that we have got more intelligence. Um, as a people to not think that race matters and evidently the Supreme Court agrees with me or I should say I agree with them not to sound arrogant now I'm going to say something here not to embarrass the following people but I mean it as a supreme compliment some of the friends that I have on YouTube I notice um, and they're Christian friends of mine they're the nicest people. They've always been so nice to me. I've been nice to them. They're my brothers in the Lord. Um, they uh, are fool for a lifetime. And I'm going to put their links here. You guys should really subscribe to them. These guys are the real deal. And Crazy316. They and I have never, not even once, brought up this stupid race thing at all with each other in our conversations or anything. We don't bring up stupid stuff like that. Because Crazy 316, Fool for a Lifetime, and I, being true Christians, we believe the most important color is red, the color of Jesus Christ's blood that he shed for all of us. But you know what? I'm going to tell you something. They're, they're so right on for the Lord, and they're not bigoted or racist in any way. They're the, the most kindest moral Christian people that you ever want to meet. They're the real deal, you guys. And do you know that these liberals are calling them bigots? Well, they call that to be too, also. And yet, <laughs> they've been the nicest folks to me, um, even though we're all different races and stuff. We never once brought it up because we're mature adults. And I appreciate that. And I, and I really love those guys. As a matter of fact, when my channel was being attacked, um, it was them, they were one of the first folks that came out and supported me um, because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. So I am glad that the Supreme Court basically shot down racism today. And there is no reverse discrimination. There's only discrimination. Discrimination is discrimination. There's no reverse discrimination. If you're discriminated against because you're black, that's discrimination. If you're discriminated against because you're white, that's discrimination. If you're discriminated against because you're Hispanic, whatever, you know, that's discrimination. Now, what a lot of folks are getting upset about is that now the homosexual community is trying to say they're like a race. And it's just, we're just like the blacks or the Hispanics. We're getting discriminated. And a lot of blacks and Hispanics that are Christians are offended by that because nowhere in the Bible does it say it's a sin to be black, Hispanic, or white, but it does say it's a sin to be in the homosexual lifestyle.